Hi everyone, Bhuvan Madhva here from SAP. Welcome to another edition of SAP S for HANA, your question answered. So if you have any questions, please send them over to our team at s4hana.feedback at sap.com. And one of us will respond to your questions during this video series. So in today's edition, I plan to address the following two questions submitted by our customers that you can see on your screen now. Question one, what are the consideration factors between greenfield and brownfield implementation? Question two, for a company with the global subsidiaries with over 25 billion in revenue that currently uses ECC 6.0 for over 10 years, is it risky, is it risky to go for a system conversion or should we trigger a new implementation? What is your view? Uh, so I believe the underlying question here is, how do you select between a system conversion or a new implementation? What, what makes sense for you? And I know it's not an easy task, especially because a lot of our customers uh, have been running their systems for over 10 or 15 years with uh, so much data, uh, you know, configurations and custom code specific to their, uh, to their business. So let me pull a few slides here uh, that'll help you answer this uh, question. So what we have done, we have developed this eight question guide, which you can utilize as your starting point. So let me show you a quick example of about how this guide would work. But before that, uh, please feel free to scan this barcode that you see on your screen and download this guide. Again, no registration is required. We'll also include the link uh, uh, for this uh, guide in our description. So to use this guide, you basically, uh, you basically uh, answer each of these questions and place your markers on uh, based on your requirements. Uh, once you answer all these questions, you can see where majority of your markers are. So if the majority of the markers are on the right side, the guide is suggesting that a system conversion is a better option for you. And if the majority of the markers are on the left side, then a new implementation is a better option for you. So let me pick a question here and tell you how this guide would work. So let me maybe uh, pick question one itself. Can you convert from SAP ERP to S4HANA in a single step? Well, if I'm running ECC 6.0 and up, then I'm going to place my marker on the right side. So that suggests that uh, system conversion is a better option for me. So now let me pick another question, maybe question five here. Do, do you require a previous transactional data in S4? So again, if my marker, uh, if my answer is, on, uh, is yes, then I'm going to place my marker on the right side. So uh, based on all the answers, you'll be able to figure out which side you're leaning towards and that can direct you which option is more beneficial for you. So this is a very good starting point for you to leverage and figure out your transition path. So again, I hope uh, you found this helpful. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please send them over to s4hana.feedback at sap.com and we'll do our best to respond to your questions during one of these editions. So thank you again and see you soon. Thank you.